Hey guys, MA Fish Guy here doing a video on a care sheet of a catfish that you're going to see quite often in the pet stores. Now they're sold, they're about this big, these are around two, maybe two and a half inches. They're real cute looking, but they get to monstrous sizes. Now this is what I'm talking about is the sun catfish or what it's labeled in some of the pet stores as the eclipse catfish. Now these guys are real cute, real adorable. Um, they look like they really can't harm anything, but one warning with these guys is for tank mates, anything that can fit in their mouth is a bad idea. So these guys are ideal with more of the bigger fish, your cichlids, stuff like that. Now these guys aren't majorly aggressive, but pretty much whatever sinks to the bottom, they're gonna inhale. Now you may think they're gonna be fine with some of your smaller fish, but those fish have to sleep at some time, and that's when they sink down to the bottom and the catfish just basically hover over and suck them right up. And now all of a sudden you wake up, your tank's empty, and you got a catfish with a bulging belly that's basically sticking tail first out of uh, an ornament or a piece of driftwood or anything like that. So here we go. Here's the information about these guys. 12 to 17 inches. Now this is like I said what I'm talking about. These guys get huge. Water, about 70 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. They're really not too picky. They'll get a little bit colder than that and even warmer than that. I've kept them in 82, perfectly fine. Now for pH, about 6.5 to 8.0. Again, they're not too picky. Uh, I've had people keep them in the 6.0, 6.5. And me in Massachusetts, I have the hard water and very high pH, and they do perfectly well at that at 8.0 to 8.2 as well. So you can pretty much keep them in a wide range of different water temperature and different water parameters. Now, they do have a high waste amount that they create, just because just like any big fish, they eat a lot, that means they poop a lot. So you're gonna have to do more frequent water changes and more water maintenance basically to keep an eye on. If you have some more delicate fish in there, these guys can handle the bio load more than some of the other fish can out there. So just keep that in mind as well. So with these guys, their diet is really anything. Uh, small fish, shrimp, mussels, clam, pellets, vegetables, mine you see spinach and red leaf lettuce. Pretty much just take a fork, stab it and drop it in the tank and they'll hover over it and pretty much chew on it whenever they can. Most of the time these guys eat at night because being a catfish they're mostly nocturnal so if you do want to see them put a red light on it and that's basically going to help mimic some of the nighttime and help you see them eat during the night and watch them come out. That way you can make sure everything's eaten well and that the fish's in general health is real good as well. So like I said, they're nocturnal, so you wanna keep that in mind. And you wanna have an environment for these guys that has a lot of hiding spots. Now minimum tank size, and I'm saying this is a minimum, is a 125. Now like I said, these guys get 12 to 17 inches, so you wanna keep that in mind. You want an aquarium large enough for them basically to circle around and not have a problem. Now, a lot of people so you can get these guys a little bit smaller and grow them up in a relatively large tank. Now, you can put them in a 55 gallon tank for a little bit and grow them up into the adult size. Like I said, you'll need a bigger tank pretty quick, so you want to make sure that you're definitely keeping an eye on that. Now, what I recommend is you get the biggest tank possible if you're going to raise them. If you can't get anything, bigger than a 55 you can start them off in the 55 but I wouldn't go anything smaller than that and like I said this is just temporary very very little time because catfish do grow quick because they eat a lot and pretty much just disappear one day when you release them into the tank and then all of a sudden a month later you'll see them and be double the size perfect example would be a red tailed catfish you'll introduce these guys into the tank you won't see them for a couple months you wonder I paid 50 bucks for this fish and it's gone and all of a sudden it'll come out and it'll be like eight inches. So keep that in mind with the catfish. These guys grow big and they grow quick. So you want to keep that in mind. I'm not saying you can house it in a 55, but if that's a starting point that you need, that would be the smallest I would go and you need to go bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And when it comes to upgrading tank sizes, just go the biggest. You pay a lot more to upgrade it size by size. If you can afford a 125, just get it. It's worth it in the long run. You can do a lot more fish. It's a lot more, less, actually a lot more enjoyable because there's going to be a lot less work. You're not going to be having to tear down tanks, reestablish tanks, all that nasty stuff. So I hope that helps you guys with 
the sun catfish or the eclipse catfish. These guys are a beautiful specimen. You'll love them. Personalities are awesome. They actually stay out more than some of your normal catfish out there. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please post it down below in the comments. And like and subscribe and visit my website, mafishguy.com for all your crabs and Now you can get them while they're... <clears throat>